Well, people uh, think I'm only or mainly I'm a musician guy. But no, I was in the drama club. I acted in movies. I've acted in commercials. I've done voiceovers. I liked that life. I liked the people. And because of that, I was exposed to a lot of people in different lifestyles I would never have been if I would have just stayed with music. Music was pretty boring. It's the same kind of people, same kind of thing all the time. And uh, I need more variety. That's all there is to it. And yeah, it's show business. So it does attract a lot of gay people. Some are attracted to the stage in drama and plays. But I'll tell you, there is a whole lot of people in heavy metal bands and rock bands that found their home there. I mean, wouldn't it be heaven if you like men to be on a heavy metal stage and your whole audience pretty much is all male? It's a no-brainer. But uh, so don't let these right winging radio stations mess up your mind. People are people no matter what, no matter who they like. I'm talking who they are attracted to. I, personally, I'm a straight male, but a lot of Japanese men seem to find me attractive and hit on me a lot. One time we were in Chang's Mongolian Grill, and the waiter came over. He didn't even recognize my mother and girlfriend who were sitting at the same table. He talked to me and gave me his, his phone number and said, let's have coffee. And I didn't call him, but I was in the gym, in the locker room, coming out of the shower. I'm totally naked with a towel. And uh, this guy turned around, Matt, it's him. Right next to me, I'm my locker. And he asked me out on a coffee date, and uh, I never went on that one either. I, I got a girlfriend, so, and I don't believe in marriage. I've already done that. You don't need to be married. If I wanted to be in business with my wife, I would do something business-wise, not be married. But I'm a different guy. Non-traditional. I don't believe in it. It's, uh, I've been with the same person for 30, almost 32 years. And there's no piece of paper between us. We don't live together, but we are together. I drove my car for the first time in three years. And I went to the gas station by her house because mine was closed. I told her she came out and greeted me at the gas station. That was really nice, you know? You, when you're married, it's the same old people that you're sick of. If, if you live with them, it's the same deal. I've never been sick of this woman for 33 years. And I think that's pretty amazing, depend, just considering my attention span. But... That's, that's my secret, and that's where I'm sticking to it. So, quit being traditional. You don't need to have kids. Nothing says you have to have children. There's just these societal norms that ruin people's lives, and especially women. I know a lot of women who never got to realize their dreams because they got pregnant on accident. Some of them, the men just didn't call back and left. Others, after two years of dealing with children and not getting any attention because their mom is busy with a kid, they left. It's just not a good deal for women. And even if you want to have your tube side as a woman, doctors won't do it. They will to a man. You can have a vasectomy, like getting a haircut. No big deal. 
But a woman, they want you to go to counseling and pay for the counseling. And six months later, see if you want to do it then. I know a dozen women from my work. So it doesn't surprise me why a lot of women like the gay lifestyle. So, uh, think about it. This is the 21st century. Let's don't make the mistake of going back in time because it's never going to be the same. People are not the same. They could be if we had like a LSD era and people's expanded their minds and thought differently, but it seemed like there's a hardcore right people, right wing people that want to get you back to the Stone Age. And uh, they want their women to depend on the men. It's just not going to work that way. The economy doesn't work the same. Okay. Keep that in mind. I'm going to go now. <laughs>